to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part two. So let's jump right into it. Now according to breakingtravelnews.com I've got eight fantastic new facts, brand new travel facts. So some good and obviously some bad but let's jump right into it now Lithuania's airline unfortunately calls for widespread testing as the group confirms further cuts to their workforce Germany flag carrier Lithuania has confirmed it will be out further jobs in addition to the 22,000 redundancies it's already been announced and there's going to be an additional 50 aircrafts will also be removed from the fleet unfortunately and I really hope the German firm gets back up to top form as soon as possible but it's very difficult um, in regards to the pandemic and unfortunately they have to make really difficult decisions following on um, is number two is it's safety protocols have been adopted as the cruise sector prepares to relaunch so yes this is some uh, brilliant news and um, the cruise lines international associations has confirmed it will adopt a new health protocols as part of a phased in highly controlled resumption of operations in north america so i really hope it goes as well as possible fingers crossed and number three one at palms jamiat um hotels are near completion which is the latest hotels news uh, one at palm jamiat is preparing to open in the united arab emirates with two if three of its luxurious penthouse properties already have already been sold for wrecking uh, record breaking prices so they've sold two out of the three properties luxurious properties um for again really good prices so well done to that hotel firm and the united arab emirates number four is Aero flat to relaunch international routes. That's an, um, again another brilliant news for in regards to airlines. So yes, um, I hope um, Aero flat uh, do absolutely fantastic and smash it. Um, number five, FC Hair Research reveals slow recovery in business travel sector so yes at least it's going to at least there's going to be an, a light at the end of the tunnel which is really good but it's just going to be really slowly and um, number six adventure events unveil plans for the future hospitality summit in Saudi Arabia I really hope the event uh, goes as well as possible for events, bench events and the hospitality sector and Saudi Arabia so fingers crossed it does. Now number seven, Sea Trade Cruise Virtual prepares for its October debut so again 
this is cruise news and I really hope, fingers crossed, it goes as well as possible like with every event and I hope it will be fantastic um, to people that are looking to do a virtual to see what it's like to go on a cruise number seven is sea trade cruises and um, they're doing a virtual and it prepares for an october this year 2020 debut so i really hope that october debut goes as well as possible and i hope sea trade um will regain virtual customers and also it'll this virtual cruise experiment shows you what it's like uh, before you commit to a cruise what it's like like virtually to go on a cruise so again it's a good way of getting at people whether they're unsure of whether they're going to like a cruise or not um, basically prepare beforehand so I really hope they get the customers that they need uh, so they will be able to relaunch the, maybe the cruises for real next year and uh, last but not least TAN offers an update on the latest travel news in Singapore so and um, that organization TAN is basically giving you the latest travel updates and um, if you're planning to travel to Singapore and um, any time in the future or if you're in Singapore at the moment so again, um, it'll be a good idea to read and watch that. So I would like to say to everybody, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in my next travel video, which is going to be on Thursday. And it's going to be the latest travel news part three worldwide. And um, tomorrow I'm going to on my lifestyle channel are going to be doing a vlog on the products that I've brought just recently so please stay tuned for that again if you haven't subscribed it's uh, the red and white subscribe button on the screen you just need to press that also click the notification bell and it um, will give you uh, videos that I upload at at least three times a week but recently because I've had more time um, off from work I'm able to do them five times a week and uh, that um, happens both on my lifestyle and my travel channel love speaking to you all um, about travel from my travel channel or if you are watching my lifestyle channel I love speaking to you about lifestyle um, as well as travel and um, just a, a major pa a passion of mine and again I wish everybody well and I hope everybody is as happy as they can it can be at the moment and thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for a lifestyle video otherwise on my travel channel I'll see you Thursday thank you and bye for now thank you bye